good morning everybody so just coming through the park I'm off to the dentist it's one thing I hate doing every year is going to the dentist I love it at the same time because I love when they tell me that my teeth are fine I go to the hygienist like twice a year but oh, it's cold today and it's so pretty outside like it's a really nice crisp morning uh, it's about 11 o'clock and the park is looking beautiful it's like one of my favorite bits of walk on the way to the dentist so yeah how's everyone doing are you guys having a good day a good week oh it's chilly <laughs> but i have walked here so i'm nice and toasty um today yeah once i've been to the dentist i've got some filming to do nothing really exciting but just like you know my faves so i uh, gave my teeth a good clean this morning so hopefully she'll be happy fingers crossed um yeah it's just a really nice beautiful crisp morning Hey guys, so I've just been to the hospital to have my kidneys scanned. Turns out kidneys are looking happy and healthy, which is amazing, I suppose. Um, so yeah, no sign of any kidney stones, which tends to suggest that they've already gone, which in a way is good, uh, in the same way is not so good, cause you know, um still have some discomfort but i mean it could just be residual they said so hopefully this place is like a maze okay right see you in a bit hey guys so um jack's just dropped me off at the train station uh near where we live it's train in about 10 minutes going down to Paynton for the day to go and see my best buddy part of my holiday trip um we don't catch up very often it's nice to kind of have some lunch catch up in person see what's going on in life you know uh have a little walk on the beach At this time of the year it's just like the best time to go to the beach because it's always really quiet and there's no people around no tourists and you see it like when not many other people see it you know it's nice just to see you know like how it's meant to be not covered in like screaming children and people trying to get for suntans and stuff like that it's nice just to be chill and relax it's like my favorite thing to do so yeah the train should be here shortly it's one of my favorite journeys to do as well because it's so beautiful oh you got a twig <laughs> There's the uh, hotels that are going up in front of my uh, parents' home, blocking out all the lovely view of the beach. It's a seagull. <laughs> Arcades. Look how dead it is. It's literally nobody. Shut. This is really sad, isn't it? There's another place over there that's shut. Another one that's sharp. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, the proper sharp. It's the proper sharp. <laughs> oh, waffle place. Oh dear, somebody's lost their uh, shoes. The waffle in. They look very busy. 
Oh, there's another clothes shop. That's a thing. That's a thing that I another casino. It's just absolutely dead. Did someone just say paint and massives? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hang on, it's a car. <laughs> Another fish and chip shop closed down. Another shop closed. Subway, and should I just say it's like midday? It's one person in Subway. Sue Rider Charity Shop. Always love a good charity shop. Another clothes shop. There's a Toy Master. Again, is actually closed. Riviera Gift Shop. Closed. Oh gosh, this has been closed. There we go. We are closed. We are closed from 8th of Jan to 14th of Feb. Closed for a month. So, if you wanted a pair of shoes, can't get any. It's a bit busier up here. Another fish and chip shop, completely empty. Oh, dog crates. Obviously not long needed anymore. Hey guys, so I'm just going to a pop-up event that's happening in Exeter um, to promote sustainable fashion and upcycling and all that goodness. Um, so it was advertised on Eventbrite and it's the opportunity just to go in it's like almost like a kilo sale I guess uh, where you can get to see like vintage fashion um, in, just off the high street so it should be a really fun little experience and it was only two pounds and if you buy anything you get your two pounds back so I thought do you know what that's a nice thing to do on a Saturday isn't it Hey guys, so I feel slightly conned because that vintage fashion sale is very expensive. So it was £25 a kilo uh, when we got to the till and queued for so long I just couldn't be bothered to take it all back. And I get that like fashion shouldn't be cheap, but when you're paying like that price, like H&M, and it isn't vintage, kind of rubbed me up a little bit along like wrong way so but I did get some nice things and I'll show you what I got later. I thought I would sit down and just show you what I got from that kind of like vintage clothing pop-up which turned out not to be a real vintage clothing pop-up and was very expensive um so anyway uh yeah I got three items of clothing for 20 quid and um, one of them was this like red long sleeve top. It's got like a black edge to it. It all kind of smells like it has been washed, but I'm gonna give it another wash anyway. I've had some very bad experiences of um, buying secondhand clothing, um, bringing moths into the home and that kind of thing. Um, anyway, and then the second thing that I bought was this Tenses top now there is a little bit of like stainage on the um label but that's fine um this actually just felt like really nice quality like really nice quality um wool it doesn't have any bobbling i don't even know if this has really been worn but then it's got a mark on it so i'm not sure um but yeah this was just like really nice just really nice for work and then sorry about that had to open the door to my morrison's delivery and get it up the stairs 
Um, and then the final top was from H&M. So, yeah, not vintage. Uh, so this is a H&M Basics. It is in large and it is just a nice little pink speckly print. Actually, it goes with my nails. Um, yeah, really nice. I like the colour. Feels pretty good. Doesn't feel like it's been worn at all, if maybe a tiny bit. But, yeah, seems like it's okay quality. You know, like, not been worn. There was a lot of stuff there that had been very worn. Um, but this was, this was okay. So, yeah, three tops for £20. Now, the H&M Basics ones probably cost about a fiver. And so did the others. And I paid about £5 then for the experience. So, I suppose it is very much a case of what do you value in vintage? And what you class as vintage and I don't think I would class H&M as vintage but maybe it's just me I don't know let me know your thoughts uh, in the comment section below do you feel like that was a thing or not I don't know it's weird very weird if it was just like a clothing sale or like charity sale I'd be like okay cool but they classed it as vintage I don't think it really was uh, anyway, um, I'm going to end the vlog here, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one, I know it's a bit of a rando one, there's lots, of go lots going on this week, um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you all very soon, bye! <laughs>